Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and you are watching Dash Detailed. You may have heard that the piece de resistance of Dash is a forthcoming product called Evolution, which will enable the average person to use Dash without needing to know what cryptocurrency is. With its alpha delivery slated for late 2017, I thought you might enjoy seeing these screenshots of pre-pre-evolution in action. This slide shows a new user landing on an Evolution web page. And remember that anybody could host an Evolution web or mobile application using Dash's forthcoming decentralized API, or DAPI for short. Users have the option to create a wallet or to start selling as a merchant. The user creates a password and then is shown their recovery seed, as no Evolution provider will be storing any user's private keys. Our dashboard shows us the three primary sections of our Evolution wallet, namely our funds, our apps, and our friends. Looking at our funds first, you'll see that we can have various types of accounts, such as a cash account, a joint account, and a savings account. Here we see the creation of a new account type, we'll call it spending, and fast forward a bit with our spending account, we can view its history. Notice in the history that we've been making subscription payments to a few merchants. That's because Evolution enables autopay, which will be a protocol level first for the entire cryptocurrency industry. Next, we'll move from funds to the apps section. Here we see various merchant apps listed. Let's click on one here and see that we can view its ratings, its download numbers, and a link to its homepage, all to help us determine whether or not this is someone we'd like to do business with. We can go ahead and choose to purchase this merchant's product with one click here, which will show us the invoice, and now we pay. As another first for the cryptocurrency industry, Dash Evolution will offer protocol level moderation in case of payment disputes between merchants and customers. Both sides of the trade get to make claims about the dispute, and a moderator can then choose whether to issue a refund in any amount to either party. Merchants can create these apps by undergoing this process, where Evan has created Evan's Sock Store. Moving from the App section to the Friends section, we see that we can view the history of all transactions we've had with people in our Friends list. Our Friends list itself allows us to label both a name and a description for our contacts within Dash Evolution. And finally, we can even send a private message to those in our Friends list. Not to be restricted to the web, here's an idea of what Evolution will look like on mobile. I hope you've enjoyed this little preview of forthcoming Evolution software, and if you did, you will enjoy at least as much my chat with Evan Duffield next week as he goes deeper into Evolution specifications, namely decentralized masternode shares, the DAPI, and the Merchant App Store. So be sure to come back next Wednesday for that. And remember, if you live anywhere near Austin, come meet us this Sunday. And anywhere near Albuquerque, come out and meet us the following Tuesday. And I'll see you next week.